Right. Um. Uh, so, <coughs> so it looks like we're on air. Right. Now. Um. So. And. Let me turn that down, hang on. Let me turn that I did um <laughs> Yeah, I am drunk. Right. I did a um There we go. The advert's over. Right. Of course they're off. Um Right, okay, we'll do the... Hey, did that come out? I may not have written that right. Anyway, right. <laughs> okay, so... I did it... Hang on, let's... We need to time this. Right, so it's... Yes past six um so i did a stream yesterday right but i'm kind of annoyed about because i big head mode <laughs> uh, right you have to continue the story i think right i'm kind of annoyed about it because Half past six, but then I will come back um, at seven o'clock, 1800 hours GMT, um, uh, to do my main hourly stream. This is just like a, a test thing, so um, because I did a Twitch stream yesterday. Um, and it didn't, it didn't archive that video. Uh, how do, okay. No, it didn't archive the video. Um, and I've got ten videos up there already. And I think either, uh, oh, is this it? Oh, there we go, character bios. Right, I think it's either, um, because I've got 10 videos already and it won't archive any more or um, it's because they put the title as reading and being a dick so maybe Twitch automatically doesn't want you to have that as a title I have no idea but they're right this is why I'm doing a stream from now it's just going to be 10 minutes and um, not long at all and then I'll be back at seven o'clock which is you know in 40 minutes right so i'm gonna just read a couple of these um we'll, we'll read batman oh god i'm pressing all the wrong buttons right <clears throat> so when his parents were gunned down in front of him young bruce wayne resolved to rid gotham of the criminal element that took their lives. He trained extensively to achieve mental and physical perfection in addition to mastering martial arts. Oh, I lost my place. Oh, in addition to mastering martial arts, detective techniques and criminal psychology. Dressing as a bat to prey on criminals as fears, Batman fights crimes with the aid of specialized gadgets and vehicles, operating out of his secret bat cave below Wayne Manor. Following the events of Arkham City, many of Gotham's citizens are convinced that Batman broke his defining rule by killing his arch nemesis, the Joker. Trained to physical and mental peak, arsenal of gadgets, vehicles and advanced technology, Inventor, detective, genius level intellect, expert in most known forms of martial arts, trained in all aspects of 
I think I said criminology, but never mind. Um, let's do some of the important ones. Um, let's do Deathstroke. Okay. Originally a soldier in the U.S. Army, Slade Wilson was part of an experimental super soldier program where he gained enhanced strength, agility, and intelligence. Deathstroke became a mercenary soon after the experiment and rapidly gained a reputation as one of the world's greatest assassins. Following his defeat and incarceration at the hands of Batman, Deathstroke escaped from the maximum security wing of Blackgate Penitentiary and continued working as a gun for hire, hoping that one day he'd get another shot at his nemesis. Medically enhanced physical and mental abilities, master tactician and combat expert, missing his right eye. I think I've done quite a lot of practice. I can't believe I got. I just got through two of them. Anyway, never mind. Um, who should we do next? The Joker. Batman's arch, arch nemesis. Okay, I fucked that up. <coughs> Batman's arch nemesis, the self-styled clown prince of crime, has a capacity for incredible violence and a penchant for creating deadly mayhem. His death in Ar Arkham City, resulting from an earlier Titan overdose, sent shockwaves through Gotham's underworld, with many holding Batman directly responsible. Despite his death, Joker's legacy lives on when it emerges that several people were exposed to his Titan-infected blood, and are now displaying symptoms of a Joker-like personality. Unrepentant, homicidal maniac, surprisingly strong hand-to-hand -hand combatant, unknown past, employs various deadly weapons, often based on party gag items, uses a fatal toxin that stretches the skin's the victims' faces into a joker-like grin. Uh, nailed it. Right. Um. Nightwing. No. Nightwing. Right. Dick Grayson, the youngest of a family of acrobats known as the Flying Graysons. Dick Grayson watched his parents die at the hands of a mafia boss, extorting money from the circus. Bruce Wayne adopted the young orphan as his ward and subsequently trained him to become his crime-fighting partner, Robin. Determined to prove himself and growing wary of his new name, Nightwing. Oh, we need to read his attributes. Trained to fight crime by Batman, skilled acrobat, and master martial artist. Barbara Gordon, the daughter of Gotham City's police commissioner, James W. Gordon. Barbara Gordon fought crime against, alongside Batman as Batgirl until she was paralysed from the waist down and confined to a wheelchair. Barbara has since adopted the new identity of Oracle, and now supports Batman with her computer expertise, providing him with a constant stream of information in the field to aid his, bat his battle against crime. <coughs> Eidetic memory recall of everything she sees and reads, extensive headquarters in Gotham City's clock tower, High-level hacking and computer skills remain skilled with screener sticks and batarangs. Right. Ooh, okay. Well. Um. Right. We read. We read. <coughs> we read the other Robins. No wait, Let's do the Riddler as well. With an obsessive compulsive need for attention, Edward Nigma is determined to be the cleverest of Gotham City's criminals, plotting elaborate trails of clues and riddles around his crimes. Batman has proven a worthy opponent, capable of unravelling the Riddler's most intricate plans, but Nygma is dedicated to creating a mystery that will confound the Dark Knight, even if he has to kill someone to do it. Humiliated by Batman on Arkham Island, and again in Arkham City, Nygma is more determined than ever to make the caped crusader bow before his superior intellect. G 
ingenious intellect, driven to test others by leaving clues to his crimes, compulsive need for attention and validation. Sorry, this is a side note. I froze a bottle of wine, um, and I was just, I opened it just to release the pressure a bit. I think I left it in the freezer too long. Young Tim Drake was in the audience the night the Flying Graysons were murdered, where he witnessed Batman leap to the scene. Inspired by Batman's heroics, Tim closely followed the chronicles of Batman and Robin, eventually deducing their secret identities with his self-taught detective skills. Tim convinced Bruce Wayne and Dick Grayson, now Nightwing, that a new Robin was needed in the never-ending battle for justice. Tested by the Dark Knight himself with a grueling training regimen, Tim earned the right to become Robin, and has since lived up to the name. Keen detective skills, trained to fight crime by Batman, arsenal of gadgets and advanced technology, near genius level intellect. Right, we're nearly done, so uh, we'll do Scarecrow, Jonathan Crane, the self-proclaimed master of fear, Dr. Jonathan Crane is an obsessive and deranged former psychiatrist who uses a combination of experimental drugs and psychological tactics to exploit his victims as fears and phobias. Prolonged exposure to his own toxin has rendered Scarecrow unable to experience the fear he so desperately craves. The only person who can still elicit terror from Scarecrow is Batman. Following his attacks on the Dark Knight and Arkham Asylum, Scarecrow was mauled by Killer Croc. Rumour has it, he since reconstructed his face to resemble his iconic mask while plotting his revenge against Batman and Gotham. Master of Fear, professional professor of psychology, expert chemist. Right, and our final one? No, we'll do Two-Face as well. Barbara Gordon, the daughter of Gotham City's police commissioner, James W. Gordon. Barbara Gordon was forbidden by her overprotective father from joining the GCPD. Instead, she took on a on, a, on the identity of Batgirl and was a crime-fighting partner of Batman for years, a career that ended tragically when the Joker shot her through the spine and confined her to a wheelchair. Expert martial art, artist, skilled detective, eidetic memory, recall of everything she sees and reads. And finally, Harvey Dent. District Attorney Harvey Dent was one of Batman's strongest allies in Gotham City, until a criminal threw acid in Dent's face, hideously scarring him. The wounds fractured his psyche, and he was reborn Two-Face, a schizoid criminal mastermind obsessed with duality. His former good luck charm, a two-headed trick silver dollar, was damaged on one side in the attack, and Dent had seized on it as a reflection of his half-scarred visage. He flips it to, to decide the fates of his victims. In the wake of Joker's death, Two-Face is rumoured to be working alongside other supervillains to bring Gotham to its knees and destroy Batman once and for all. Hideously scarred on half of his face, extremely skilled with his twin point forty-five semi-automatics, psychotic obsession with duality and the number two, defers to his half-scarred coin in choices of life or death. Right, now I've, I've completed 90% of the game. Um, there are three 